What you doing now, Dave? Getting ready to change the air dryer filter on Leroy. Why? It needs to be changed every uh, about 100,000 miles or every two years. And we don't know if it's ever been changed, do we? Yeah, well, it's been changed, but I don't know when. We're Dave and Karen from Wax on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two K&M motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. What does that thing do? What it does is it filters and dries the air that's in the system on the truck. And it goes from the compressor, goes to this, air filters up through this, it filters all the, the you know, debris or what have you out of the air, and the, also the moisture. And then it goes into the tanks of the truck, the holding tanks, and then disperses out through the truck as systems require it. What happens if you never change it? Ah, well, your systems get all polluted and get grease in it and dirt, and then next thing you know, your brakes aren't working right and all that stuff, so it's good to change it. Okay. And what we have to do that, we have the nitrile gloves, a little brake cleaner, because once you take this off, there's going to, on where this attaches to, there'll probably be some dirt and sediment around it and you want to use the brake cleaner to clean that off. Some grease because when you put this back on you put a little bit of grease around this ring and this o-ring here. That plastic piece comes off. Of the, yeah this it. plastic piece comes off. What kind of grease are you using? Oh what am I using? This High tap multi-purpose grease. Yeah multi-purpose grease. Stuff you put in your hair? Yeah. Oh never mind. Yeah. And then you have a, a rag, a strap wrench. You're gonna need that to go around it at least a six inch strap wrench and then of course the bump cap because I know I'm gonna smash my head down there <laughs> just know it so, so where about is this thing located it is about midway in the middle of the truck about right here so you got to get up underneath it yeah so how I do that I'll open this up side fairing and this comes right off we'll put this aside. and then I have to crawl up under there and what you want to do first is it behind the gas tank you gotta go yeah kind of in between the two rails the gas tank what you want to do first is you have to bleed all the air off the system So you gotta undo the other air pressure tanks from underneath? Yeah. Got your trusty uh Well, actually plug. I can do it from the other side. But I'll be under here anyways. There's my head. There goes my glasses. Where's your bump cap? Up there. Oh yeah, you already hit it. Let me go get your cap. Go get my cap. <laughs> So you can't just talk about it. I know, I just did. Did you just, break them too? I don't know. Oh, the lens popped out? Yeah. I'm all right. Did I get a divot? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Eh, not bad. You're not bleeding. Okay, crawling underneath here. Now, what's that one? Transmission. Then you gotta do one more tank from over here? Yeah, I can get it from right here. Okay, that one let out. I gotta get up in here. You need to move the camera back? Put this wrench in here. It's just a bitch. Oh my! 
it's very awkward to get up in here. There we go. Is it turning? Yep. Yeah. There it goes. Is crap going to come out and drip on you? I hope not. There we go. Ooh, look at that. That's what it traps, the oil and dirt coming in. You're always going to get some oil in coming in from the pump. That's just the way it works. But it traps, stops the oil from getting into your system and all the uh, contaminants. Yeah, it's fairly dirty. So I got to get in there and clean that out. The drive shaft's dead in the way. Maybe I can get to it over top of this rail. Let me try that. Oh boy. A little ugly looking in there. Boy, it doesn't look very comfortable. No, it doesn't. cleaning? Yeah. That's bad news, huh? It's dirty. Well, I guess that's about as clean as I can get it. Put a little grease around this thing. Like that. A little ring. Yep. On here. What's that do for it? Lubricates the seal as it's twisting down so the seal doesn't buckle or fold up. Do you have to tighten with that other thing as well? No, you hand tighten this when you tighten oh. it down. Well, is that it? Yep. Once it makes contact, you've got one half turn. Uh, I'm going to use this anyways. <laughs> Can't get that half turn on not, that angle? Not with the angle I'm at. I take it, that's it. Oh, how many beers is that thing going to be? Oh, many beers. Hit a little Ben Gay. Let it build up the pressure. Start motors and let it build up pressure? Yeah, you shut it off and check for a leak. So you're going to have to crawl back up underneath there again, huh? Yeah. What would you say about the location? They put it in the most convenient place that they could put it. <laughs> Couldn't put it out here. Oh, no. It's only been a couple of minutes. It's coming up, isn't it? It's up. It's up? Yeah, pretty much. Can you tell by your fist in the... Yeah. Put it against the wheel, wheel well on the tire. It's up. I just heard a big... What was that about? That was the uh, air pressure getting up to... getting up to 120 pounds and the exhaust on it. As it shuts down the pump, the compressor part, then it'll exhaust. So that's a good thing. Yeah. So this is the last step. Yeah. What you got to do? Put your helmet on. <laughs> Put my helmet on. Verify. How you going to verify it? See if I can hear any leak. I don't hear anything from Sounds here. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a winner. Yay. What would that have cost you to have somebody do that for you? Probably about 300, 350 bucks. Including the part? Yeah. 
How much was that part from Amazon, do you remember? 24, 25 bucks. <laughs> oh yeah, when you asked Vanguard, they wanted 141 uh, just for the part. part. Sure. So any, uh, there's the part number. Words of wisdom. Easy fix. Didn't look like it. Well, words of wisdom, find yourself a small child <laughs> who's somewhat mechanically apt. Send them in. All right. Awesome. All done. All done. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.